Hi, and welcome to Science on Learning Lockdown. Now, sadly, Professor Ritten Valley couldn't join us today um, because we're in my house and we're technically not allowed indoors with one another, unless it's a workplace where we can still social distance. But at the moment, he's not allowed into my house. So I'm afraid still, it's just me. Have you been missing Mr. S? Let me know in the comments if you've been missing Mr. S. I certainly have. This guy's just not the same. He's just very rooted in what he does and doesn't really change much. Anyway, cracking on. We're going to start a topic today called What Do Scientists Do? And what do they do? Well, it entirely depends on what a scientist is. So we've got a little starter for you today. I want you to go away and to draw for me what you think a scientist is. Now, this might include what they look like. Do they look like this? Or have you got another image in your head of what a scientist looks like? And then around your picture of a scientist, you're going to label what qualities they have as a person. Are they patient? Are they impatient? Do they ask a lot of questions? Do they maybe just make things up on the spot? Who knows? I want you to list their qualities around them. And then I want you to also list around them what types of jobs they do. So what type of job is a scientist? Well, let's have a look what you think. Pause the video, go and draw it, and then join back with me. I'll be interested to think what you came up with there for what a scientist does and what a scientist looks like. Because honestly, a scientist can look like all of these things. They can do all of these jobs and they have loads of great qualities. Now a scientist specializes in one specific area and we break science down into some different strands. We have biology, chemistry and physics. Biology deals with living things like plants, humans and animals and how they work. Chemistry deals with chemicals and all the different things that makes up what's around us. And physics, well, they're looking at forces, at space, at engineering, loads of different elements of the world around us. But even within themselves, you can break them down into even more strands. So scientists tend to specialize in one specific area. But they all have one thing in common. Scientists across the centuries, across the millennia, in fact, have always come up with theories. They've watched how things work and they've asked the question, hmm, why does that do that? And how does that do that? And they might have an idea. And with that idea then, they set out to try and prove their idea is 100% true. They might do experiments, they might do explanations, they might test things. And in this way, they come to prove whether their theory is correct or incorrect. And throughout the years, we've developed our understanding of how the world works this way. So today we're gonna to ask you to be scientists. I want you to think of a fact or of an event that you know is 100% true. Something that happens that you know 100% how it works. And I want you to make me a video, pretending to be a scientist, and you're going to explain how you know it is 100% true. What happens during this activity you're going to come up with? What's the way it works? And how do you know it works? And explain it to me. So I watch those videos and I go, yep, 100%, that is what's happening there. They are correct. So make your own videos, explain to me how something works, and how you know it. Off you go.